there was an old and a wealthy man. He had a daughter great and grand. She was handsome, neat and tall, and answered to no lover's call. Many a squire came this way, the handsome lady for to see. But at length there was a widow's son, t'was found he was her chosen one. When her old folks came this to know, they sent her far away from home, which broke this young man's tender heart when he and his true love did part. His day had come, his hour had passed, into his grave he went at last, when he'd been no more than twelve months dead, up from the grave he raised his head. The young man arose, put on his clothes, and after her he chose to go. It was a cold and stormy night when he started for his heart's delight. When he came to the place he knew, he said, My love, I've come for you. At your mother's wish and your father's heed, I have come for you all in great speed. She dressed herself in rich attire and rode away with a heart's desire. Before they came to her father's gate, he complained and cried, I was hit, did he? Her handkerchief she then took out and with it tied his head about. She kissed his lips and then did say, My dear, you're colder than the clay. Get down, get down, get down, said he, while I go put this steed away. And as she knocked at her father's door, the sight of him she saw no more. When her father saw her, he did say, who came with you this very long way, with the one I love, I love so well, I love him more than tongue can tell. The hair did rise on the old man's head, for he knew her love had long been dead. He wrung his hands and he wept for sore, crying out, My child, your love's no more. They sent for clerks and clergy too, to open the grave and the corpse to view. And though he had been twelve months dead, the handkerchief was round.